When it comes to healthy eating, seafood is definitely an MVP. It's kind of like a natural underwater miracle multivitamin. It is packed with so many essential nutrients our bodies need to fight off disease, maintain a healthy body weight, all while delivering an extremely high quality source of lean protein. And it's a great source of omega-3 fatty acids, which are great for heart and brain health and reducing inflammation, just to name a few. And speaking of the amazing health benefits of omega-3 fatty acids, on today's episode, my daughters will be joining me as we prepare one of our own personal favorites and one of the best dietary sources of omega-3 fatty acids, salmon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. So stay tuned as we turn this powerhouse salmon filet into a delicious and nutritious center of the plate entree paired with garlic ginger green beans and sweet and spicy roasted sweet potatoes on this episode of the Red Clay Cook-Off Family Style. Welcome to the Red Clay Family Cook-Off. And on today's show, I brought my own family, my two humans I have on the show with me today. This is Madison, she's my oldest. And this is Caitlin. They are my girls and they love to get in the kitchen cooking with me, right? I bring yeah. you in there a lot? Yeah. Like cooking? So when we talked about bringing them into the show, first of all, they were really excited, right? <laughs> and yeah. I asked them, we went through a few times, few different things that we were possibly going to cook and we went through Mimi's raviolis she wanted to do dumplings which I was like that's really messy um, so we actually settled on salmon which is very healthy um, and I'm so glad that they picked it because I'm excited to make it here today I as a dietitian and also as the supervisor for the school nutrition program I think it's really important to get your kids involved in cooking it teaches kids the importance of food in our in our lives and it helps them develop an appreciation for the food so I think you guys have a pretty good relationship with food right yeah. do you love food yeah Food makes us happy how about you yeah. you ready to get cooking yeah okay so we today what we're gonna prepare is our Asian marinated salmon so we have the salmon fillets here for the Asian glazed salmon recipe you'll need the following ingredients Two pounds salmon cut into three to four ounce fillets each, half a cup of orange juice, half a cup of reduced sodium soy sauce, one tablespoon freshly grated ginger, three cloves garlic, minced, half a tablespoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon sriracha, pinch of black pepper, three scallions thinly sliced and divided, and an optional ingredient, quarter cup of honey, and sesame seeds for sprinkling. We have some sweet potatoes, which um, Caitlin's going to help me peel. We have a different variety of colored sweet potatoes. You can see that really nice right there. The skin's purple. The inside is actually white. And this is your traditional yam or sweet potato that you get and then the white one. All of these, um, these two right here are actually white on the inside. This one's orange. But it's fun to mix up the colors. Colors are always fun, right? Yeah. And we also have green beans. We're going to do garlic, ginger, sauteed green beans. So we are going to get started and we're going to start with the potatoes. So Miss Caitlin, I need to grab the peeler. Thank you very much. Um, so you, can you think you think you can do this? You sure? All right. So Caitlin's going to use the peeler, and Caitlin, I'm going to have you. What you want to do? The easy way to do it is just like this. And if it's too hard for you, we'll give this job to Maddie. Okay? Actually, you got it. You think you got it? You want Maddie to do it? We'll have Maddie do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We'll have you. How about you for this? Well, how about you go ahead and oh, start mommy, clipping the ends like of the green beans? That's okay. No big deal. We like making a mess in the kitchen. We have a dog named Max, who will, who will actually get everything off our floor. I'm gonna hold the green beans. Kate, what I'm gonna have you do is start on the salmon marinade. How about that? Okay, he so I'm gonna get a bowl. He devours everything he does. Here's your bowl, baby Kay. One of the ingredients in our recipe is ginger. And if you freeze ginger whole, number one, it lasts a lot longer in the freezer. Um, and it also is easy to grate. So we just, we're using a microplaner here. Um, make sure you keep your hands nice and high. And she's just gonna grate the ginger on the microplaner. So Caitlin's gonna uh, grate the ginger on the microplaner. While she's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and mince some garlic, which you could also do this. Um, you could also put the garlic in the freezer and also grate that on the microplaner, but it doesn't grate as beautifully as that ginger is. So I will get this started. You are making a mess, Miss Madison. I'm just, just I got kidding. some of the cheese. Oh, that's, a, that's mayonnaise. We'll get it out later. It's okay, <laughs> it's all married together. And the way I was raised with my mama, the more mess you had, the more mess you made, the better time you were having. And that's kind of the, the philosophy we have in my house. We can always clean things up, but you can't ever remake memories. So we make them fun when we're making them, huh? 
Yeah. Yep. Okay, Kate, I'm coming in front of you really quick. Watch that sharp knife. I'm going to go ahead and put the, the garlic right in there. A lot of times when you're grating with a microplaner, you'll see that the ginger gets stuck on the inside. So all you can do is just run your finger right down the back. And Kate, I'm going to have you do a little bit more if that's okay. Yes, yeah, sweetie pie. You can leave the skins on. I go back and forth sometimes. Like this one doesn't look the prettiest, um, so I probably would peel it. But if you have really nice yams, like this one even, I, I could leave the skin on um, primarily and then remove these spots. So it's up to you. There's a lot of nutrition in the skin, so it is good sometimes to leave the skins on. But for today's episode, we are going to go ahead and take the skins off. So next in the recipe, we have soy sauce. We have about a third, a cup, third to a half a cup of soy sauce. And when cooking with soy sauce, it is a good idea to get the low sodium soy sauce to cut down the salt. And then we also have orange juice. I'm gonna pour some of that, about a half a cup of orange juice. Okay, and when you're cooking fish, when you're marinating fish, it's important not to let the fish sit in the marinade too long because it can also either cook the fish, fish if it has a high acidic marinade, that's called ceviche, um, or it, it starts to just change the fibers of the fish. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these potato skins. Thank you, Madison. So you see this potato is orange. The other one she's peeling, you can see right now, is white. Thank you, Madison. This is sesame oil packs a big flavor punch, so you do not want a lot. You only want a little tiny drip. This is an ingredient, it's chili garlic paste. It is potent, so we'll just add a little bit to it. Okay, and then next what I'm gonna do, um, we're gonna use scallions fresh on the top, but we're also gonna use them in the, in the marinade, and scallions will add a lot of flavor. Um, some, they're an onion, so they'll add that nice onion flavor. Baby Kate, how about I give this job to you? So what I want you to do is take scissors, and hold the scallion. And scissors are a great way, kids usually learn to use scissors at a very young age in school. So this is a good way to get them involved in the kitchen. If you have something like a scallion, or maybe if it's lettuce, they go boop, 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 okay. boop. Got it? In the marinade, it doesn't really necessarily have to be pretty, the scallions, it's just about adding the flavor. So when we save these scallions for the end, we'll make sure they're nicely chopped. So we're almost finished the marinade. I like and this I'm gonna start, what's up baby? I was gonna say, I like this recipe because it has a lot of things that we can do, like in others, a lot of times, like in these shows, that a lot of the grown-ups do this stuff. And you think you're a hot shot because you're doing a lot of the stuff? No, it's just that. I'm just kidding. No, I think it's important. It is important. And do you like it? Do you like helping? Yeah, I like helping. I like like cutting stuff and I like skidding stuff. That's what I like doing. You like doing everything. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you I do. do too. I like sweeping the floor. She does like sweeping the floor, which is awesome. Can you actually clean this up in between, in between no, our breaks? No, I don't no. even have a sweeper no. thing. That's okay. We'll, we'll get it later. I'm cubing the potatoes. Um, into bite-sized pieces. You could make this french fry shape. We're choosing cubes today. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and toss them in a sweet and spicy um, rub. And the sweet and spicy combines chili powder and brown sugar. You don't wanna go heavy on the chili powder if you do not like spice, or if you're making it for kids and the kids don't like spice, you could omit the chili powder and just do the salt and brown sugar. But the chili powder adds a nice depth to the sweet potatoes. So it's fun to do the orange and the white because it adds different colors, it makes it more fun. Um, so that is why we're doing the two different colors. See, another good thing about teaching your kids to cook is you get a lot of help at dinner time, right? Yep. We're gonna pop this in there. And what I'm doing is I'm just getting the sweet potatoes I, into a bowl. And I like sweeping the counter. And you like sweeping the counter? You know, all this talk about cleaning, I'm gonna start putting you to work more often, what do you think? No! Yeah, can you wanna sweep this cou counter on a commercial? No. <laughs> It's very, it's always helpful to have kids around helping you clean and cook, but don't let them fool you. They don't help me clean that much. <laughs> well, I do like sweeping the floor. You do like sweeping the floors, that's true. And our dog, Max, often usually chases Helps the- Helps us out. Yeah, he off, either that or he tries to eat the, eat the, the broom, right? Yeah, yep. he always Crazy. tries that. Crazy, Max. She's down <laughs> to the white part, and that's, um, there's a lot of flavor in there, so we definitely want to use all of it. Scallions are really good too. If you ever have a lot of scallions, wrap them in foil, a little olive oil, salt, and pepper, and bake them. They're delicious. They, they just melt in your mouth. And we have canola here on the set today because we wouldn't want to use olive oil. I use that a lot in a lot of dishes, but in this dish, um, the olive oil may add too much flavor that might not always pair well with the soy sauce. So, Caitlin, what we're going to do next is we are going to pop this salmon in there. Get that ginger you have up there. If you're trying to make this for a weeknight meal, you know, if you're busy and you don't have time maybe to do this elaborate of a dinner, you can make the marinade the day before, and, and honestly, the, lo the longer the marinade sits, the more the flavors marry together. You just don't want to add the fish until about an hour before you're about to cook it. So Caitlin will pop the fish in the marinade. Just, just go ahead and them. grab it, yep, and pop it on in. And you can also, um, we're just going to keep it in the bowl. Um, it, it would be really nice in a, um, a shallow dish, but you can also put it in a Ziploc baggie, um, which we may be transferring this to, depending on how much it saturates itself in there. 
I am getting hungry. Can we come on next season? Um, you can come anytime you want. We'll just do this every day. We're just going to do this every day, right? Maddie loves to be in the kitchen and cooking. So I you can see too. the salmon has a lot of extra juices in the in the marinade, but as it sits, all those flavors will blend into the salmon and Mary so beautifully. Yeah. Can you give me a little bit of olive oil in there and then just coat just um, not olive oil, sorry, canola oil. Canola and oil is this canola oil? That's canola okay. oil. Okay then. I just a little tiny bit more. So what she's doing is she's coating all the potatoes with canola oil. That way, when we add our spices in a minute, it'll be um, they'll be nice and coated so the spices will stick. Madison, what do you like to make the most? Think of what, what do you do a lot in our kitchen? You make what? I usually make scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. And the other day, she came up with her own smoothie recipe. You want to share about it with everyone? What you did with your smoothie? So it was a healthy smoothie, but it tasted like sweet. So it was frozen blueberries, frozen bananas, um, milk, spinach. And then I did yogurt, drink, animals, then peanut butter, and then I put them in the blender and I mixed it up and it was a sweet and smoothie. Like peanut well, butter. Could you see there was spinach in there? You can no, give you it, couldn't you can even see. It was just like a pretty purple. Okay, ready? You got it. Now I need to go grab the chili sugar powder do you really think quick. I should put in? Um, just like a little handful, just a small handful. Now remember, if you want to omit yes. the chili powder, you can. We have to go get it, um, but we do have, um, we can go ahead and add this brown sugar in. And we're gonna add a little bit more. And we are on a break, we are gonna actually add chili powder to this. Just a small sprinkling to add it a little bit of color um, and also depth of flavor. So um, we're gonna take a quick break and we are gonna try up the salmon, pop it in the oven behind us, also the sweet potatoes, and, and take a quick break to, with our nutrition expert to learn all about why fish is so important. It is packed with omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Really important for your heart. So we'll be right back. Bye. Hey Red Clay, you're watching The Nutrition Breakdown with me, Professor Rita Min. Wonder why I look ready for a swim? It's because we're about to dive underwater and see what nutrition we can find. I'm ready, are you? You may have heard that fish can be a healthy part of a well-balanced diet, and you heard correctly, but wait a minute, this isn't a fish. Fish is a great source of protein packed with healthy fats. The fat found in fish contains some of the best nutrients, many of which we're generally deficient in as a population, and they can be pretty tough to find on land. Take vitamin D for example. Vitamin D is a big one that everyone is always trying to eat more of. It helps calcium absorption, it's critical in regulating your immune system, and prevents those chronic conditions we all want to avoid, like heart disease and depression. Fatty fish like salmon, swordfish, and cod pack roughly 300 to 500 international units per ounce. Considering your daily goal is 400 to 800 international units, I think a few ounces about covers it. What else does fish offer, you ask? It is packed with plenty of omega-3 fatty acids. There are three kinds of omega-3s, DHA, EPA, and ALA. They are essential for brain development and reducing your risk of heart disease. EPA and DHA are primarily found only in fish, which makes this food a powerhouse when it comes to your heart and your brain. Thank you, Red Clay, for taking the plunge with me today. Yes, I will. <laughs> Next time you're at the grocery store, swim by that fish aisle and add a healthy dose of omega-3 fatty acids to your shopping cart and to your health. I'm Professor Rita Min, and until next time, stay healthy, Red Clay. I remember, Dad, you and Mom got this car with a hatchback. I said, you know, I'd be happy to give you the money to get a really great car. And he said, well, no, this works for me. I says, why? Because it's the right height to put the meals in. <laughs> Dad, tell me when you first got an inkling about Meals on Wheels. There was kind of an abandoned house that's where we got started with Meals on Wheels. We kind of filled a need for people as they got older. It's the human interaction that probably fed them much more than the food. Oh, yeah. When you can see somebody else benefiting by your life in some way, you can't help but feel good about it, I think. Well, the reason I'm involved, Dad, is because you are, and you're so inspiring. How you've impacted people is enormous. Drop off a warm meal and get more than you expect. Volunteer at americaletsdolunch.org. America, let's, let's do, do lunch. lunch. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Right now, we are actually going to finish plating this up, pop in the oven, and then get finished with our green beans. Do you want to finish the sweet potatoes there, girl? 
All right. So we got we got the chili powder during the break, and you can go ahead and start to do the oil. So Madison is adding a little bit of the chili powder to sweet potatoes. Caitlin is drizzling some canola oil on a pan, um, and I give her a paper towel. And instead of use, you can use the Sprite oil too, but it's fun for her. She feels like she's painting. So go ahead and, and rub that in. Get all you nice need is a pinch, point. right? Just a pinch. Yeah. So well, all you need is a pinch. All you need is a pinch. Like that good? That's good. That's beautiful. You can actually add two pinches. We like things a little so spicy. So at the amount of chili powder you add depends on how you like your food. It's not going to be really spicy with two small pinches, um, but you can either add more or less depending on your preference. So, all right, Caitlin, we are switching pans. you got to keep that painter. So she's painting the other pan for the sweet potatoes. While she's doing that, I'm going to take the salmon. The salmon, you want to let marinate for about an hour. It's been marinating for about an hour here. And we're going to pop it on this pan. How are you doing over here, chefs? Chili pepper on your hands. So we're going to go ahead and pop the salmon in the oven, which is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to pop that in. Done, All done. Mama. How about how are you doing? Are they good? good? Okay. I am going to go ahead and start Can our green beans. These. Can you absolutely, if you can go ahead and start cutting the green beans, Kate, that will be great. For the ginger garlic green beans, you need the following ingredients. One pound green beans trimmed, one tablespoon canola oil, two cloves garlic minced, two teaspoons grated ginger, a half a cup of water, two tablespoons reduced sodium soy sauce, and for garnish, approximately one tablespoon of sesame seeds. Madison, you can just dump if you want, unless you think it's fun to spoon them on there. Yeah. All right, so I've got more garlic minced. Pop that in the pan. Madison, can I ask you to do me a huge favor so this is not burned while I grate the ginger? For the green beans, we've got some garlic going, and we're going to grate some more ginger. So I'm just popping some grated ginger in here. It smells wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to pop the sweet potatoes in the oven, again, which is preheated. We're using the same oven here. All right. So the garlic and the ginger is sauteing together. The garlic, you only want to saute till fragrant. You don't want to over saute it. Yes? How are we doing on those green beans? Can I help her with them? You can help her with those. All right, so she's got the. She's gonna so am I just going to cut off these? You tell me. Um, yeah, just this. Like yeah, that. Cut off those and then first. you put them in the pile. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of doing this different than I traditionally would, but we want to make sure the green beans soften up just a little bit. So I'm adding a little bit of water. And we are going to finish these, putting them in. Here's some more. Some more. And a splash of soy sauce in here would also be nice if you want to add more soy sauce. We're just doing um, garlic, ginger, green beans today, but a little splash of soy sauce would be good. And we're just going to let those cook for a minute. You guys are working here. So we also have sesame seeds, which we'll top um, on, on the green beans when they get done, as well as the salmon. Um, so I'm going to cut this for the salmon. So I will go ahead and slice this. These are going to be for topping the um, salmon at the end, which is baking behind us. We are going to finish letting these green beans cook as these guys continue to get work in here. And then when we come back, we will plate everything up for you and show you how this meal can all come together. It's time for Name That Nutrient. Name the nutrient that is most difficult to find in its naturally occurring form in food. A. Calcium. B. Vitamin A. C. Vitamin D. Or D. Magnesium. The answer after this short break. Most of my family, they never graduated high school or even let alone go to college, so I'm trying to break that barrier. My daughter Brooklyn was also a motivation for me to go back to school. It's been so amazing to be able to give our child the life that we kind of pictured us having, even though we didn't really have that. I've been in foster care my whole life. He's so strong to just be able to like leave that all behind and still be able to take care of his daughter and be a good husband. Every day after work, went straight to school, studied hard, and and it paid off. This should not be real. I could not have done it alone. We've been through so much in our life, and 
he never used that as an excuse, but as motivation to do better. I see the future is really bright for me. The high school diploma is just added to the confidence, and now I feel unstoppable. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Did you guess right? The answer is C, vitamin D. While there are many foods fortified with vitamin D, very few foods contain vitamin D in its naturally occurring form. Fatty fish such as salmon, tuna, and mackerel, as well as fish liver oils, are the best source of naturally occurring vitamin D. Welcome back. The green beans, the water has reduced and the green beans are all the way cooked through. You could blanch them before. I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. I'm just giving them a little bit more flavor. And then what Madison's going to work on is this is probably more for only the adults. This is that chili garlic sauce. She's going to add some of that to mayonnaise, but you could do part mayonnaise, part Greek yogurt to save calories and it's a great topping with the salmon. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the salmon and the sweet potatoes out of the oven. Popping these right here. Do you want me to stir it? Yep, go ahead and stir it. Mix it around until it turns a pretty pink color. Yep, stir it until you think it just looks just right. Oh yeah, it's turned <laughs> pink. It turned pinkish. Look how pretty that is. You guys can try it if you want, but it is spicy. I'm gonna go ahead and plate everything up and get us started. We're gonna eat family style. We're gonna share a dish. What do you think? Does that sound fun? I'm gonna grab the sweet potatoes. Are delicious. The caramelization on the outside is beautiful. Pop a couple salmon fillets on here. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to decorate this really quick. Caitlin, do you want to help me decorate this plate? Yes. What do you Mommy, think? Can you, put, like, can you put this hot stuff on one of the pieces of salmon? Yeah, what we'll do is we'll just keep it on the side and Mommy will try it. How about that? Yeah. Caitlin, if you can sprinkle some sesame seeds over top, Madison, if you can, can do the scallions over the, over the um, salmon. And we are finishing this off. You can pop it right over the salmon. Right on the salmon. Can I put these on the green beans? Green beans? And the almonds, almonds, slivered almonds, we have t slightly toasted. It brings out a nice nutty flavor. Thank you there, Miss Madison. Popping those on the green beans. Another really great topping for the green beans would be caramelized ginger, which is really nice too. Wow, we loaded that up with sesame seeds. It's like, it's like sesame seeds with a little bit of salmon. <laughs> it looks so good. All right, that's enough. All right, you ready to give this a shot? All right, here we go, let's eat it, girls. I am gonna go ahead and dip my fork, this spicy, it's spicy mayonnaise. You see this a lot in sushi restaurants, and it goes so good with salmon. Whoa, it's falling sideways. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Mmm. Is it good? Oh, it's cooked beautifully. The salmon's just flaking apart. If I can get it on my fork. <laughs> what do you think? Mmm, it's so good. I'm gonna try a sweet potato and a green bean. This is what I meant. See how they're like squishy a little? Yeah, well they cooked on the inside. Yeah. And then a green bean. Let's try it. What do you think? I like the salmon. Good job. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And please don't forget to I check like out this recipe out. and try it home with your family. Because remember, you're not cooking in style unless you're cooking. in family style. Oh, I'm sorry. High five. Don't no, high five me with a fork. There we go. High five. Ow. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.